Today, the Supreme Court weighed in on a controversial case pitting religious rights against LGBTQ rights. In 2018, the city of Philadelphia ended a contract it had with a Catholic-based foster care agency because that agency refused to work with same-sex couples. The agency sued, and the case eventually made its way to the nation's highest court. News 8's Richard Allen has more on the outcome and reaction from both sides. Well, that's right. The question here, can private entities receiving taxpayer funds refuse service to certain groups like same-sex couples based on religious beliefs? The court ruled in this particular case, they can. Every year it feels our rights are up for debate at the Supreme Court. Local advocates for LGBTQ rights blasted Thursday's unanimous decision by the Supreme Court, which sided with Catholic Social Services in Philadelphia, ruling that the religious-based organization could refuse to work with same-sex couples who apply to take in foster children on the basis of the First Amendment right to religious beliefs and in defiance of the city of Philadelphia's anti-discrimination policy. It's a major win. It's a major win for Catholic Social Services, but it's a major win for the children. Sharon Ford is Director of Foster Care and Adoption for Focus on the Family, a fundamentalist Christian organization. She says while the court's ruling recognizes Catholic Social Services' right to refuse to work with same-sex couples based on religious beliefs, it does not preclude them from becoming foster or adoptive parents. The door for them to continue um, down the journey of being a potential foster parent or an adoptive parent wasn't close to them. It was just going with a different agency. But critics of the ruling, including San Diego County Board of Supervisors Chair Nathan Fletcher, says this decision tells LGBTQ people that they are less worthy of protection from discrimination than others, adding, quote, it's a step backwards in our pursuit of equity and justice. The promise of liberty and justice for all in this nation is still unmet. Legal analysts point out that the court's 9-0 to decision was narrowly defined, focusing specifically on the city of Philadelphia's contract with foster care agencies. It doesn't mean that uh, religious foster care agencies are going to have a license to discriminate against uh, anyone they want to uh, because they say that their religion requires them to do that. And LGBTQ activists also say today's ruling demonstrates the need to pass the Equality Act, which would amend the Civil Rights Act to include sexual orientation and gender identity.